Welcome back to the Morning Blend with our continuing series, All the Sparkles with Kessler's Diamonds. Before you think about buying a diamond, maybe it would help to think about how a professional diamond buyer does it. I've always wondered. So what makes them choose one diamond over another, for example? Here to help us have a better understanding are Martha and Adam, two head loose diamond buyers at Kessler's. Great to see both of you. Thank you. I think you. that seems like an exciting job. <laughs> I was just going to say. In the business of picking out diamonds. Yes. What is your job? I'm a professional diamond buyer. That's cool. Exactly. <laughs> so what's the main thing that you teach people who want to buy a diamond, who are interested in, in buying a diamond for different reasons? Um, what do you think they should look for when they're when they're making a purchase like that well the diamonds number one job is to sparkle so when you look at the diamonds you should definitely see which one sparkles the most which one talks the most to you I like that what is, what is something that makes one diamond sparkle more than another it's <laughs> completely how well that diamond is proportioned many diamonds are cut too deep so they don't reflect the light like they should. Many are also cut too shallow and they don't um, sparkle the way they should as well. So when you have a perfectly proportioned diamond, it's mm -hmm. definitely gonna sparkle more whenever you're looking at so it. So the cut's important, right? It's the most important. Okay. Well now sometimes if you guys don't see the diamond side by side, it may not be so obvious for people. So how, what are some recommendations that you share with them? Definitely take them into different lighting. Look at, to see what the sparkle is gonna going to do in different light. Mm -hmm. So it might be natural light is going to mm -hmm. be a lot different than say here under yes, our camera lights definitely. where mm -hmm. there's tons of lights and unusual amount of lights. Things that I, I think that that's true about paint colors I yes. think about but a lot of things and diamonds are probably another example of how different lighting can change up the look. That absolutely mm -hmm. is true. You know when diamonds are cut properly that's when they sparkle. It yeah. doesn't take a lot of light in order for them to sparkle when they're cut properly. Diamonds reflect light in two different ways. They reflect white light, which is called brightness, and colored light, which is fire. And the combination of both mm -hmm. is called scintillation. And when a diamond is cut properly, it scintillates I all love that over. Word. I love that word. That's a good word. That's a good word. All right, so let's say that a gentleman is in the store and the lights are all bright and they say, hey, this looks, I can't tell the difference. How, what do you share with them to say, this is what you should look for under the bright lights? With that, the differences can be subtle, mm -hmm. but what happens is it, the long-term effects of that diamond are gonna be disappointing. If the diamond isn't cut properly, it's not gonna sparkle like it should, or it's not gonna have the measurements it should. So somebody could end up being disappointed with it in the long run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You brought some examples. I think it's interesting. So you're in the business of buying loose diamonds, which I think is, is really important too, because Often when people will look at a diamond that's already set, mm -hmm. and it's when it's loose that you really can see all sides of it. So I, I think that you know it's probably very important for, for you, you're looking at diamonds in a very a pure state. So you brought some examples. Is that how you look at a diamond? Okay. Yes. Tell us about it. <laughs> Hand okay, us so. the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm holding one, for example. Is this an example of one that's cut very well? No, that would be the shallow one. This is Correct. shallow. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is not going to sparkle as much as... Correct. Now I'll hold these two. That one it. is very deep. This one's very deep. Okay, so this one in my right hand is very deep. This one is very shallow. So neither one of these are going to be the perfect cut no. in terms of getting it to sparkle the most it can. Correct. We would reject yes. those for you sure. You both would reject yes. these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now hold up that one if you would alongside of these. Three. Okay. So these, this one is too deep. This one is too shallow. And then the one you're holding right here. Now that's a perfectly cut diamond. Yeah. Absolutely. And they're all one carats. They're all, so they're yeah. equal size or equal weight. weight. Equal mm -hmm. weight. So the diameter changes yes. then. Right? And Absolutely. so people I think would, would think a more shallow cut diamond is always going to look bigger, mm -hmm. but not necessarily, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so exactly. tell us about this picture that we're looking at. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those Wait, are. Let, let me hold them. <laughs> I'll hold them yeah. for you guys. <laughs> Those are actually, those are the photographs of these three diamonds that we have. If you notice, the one that's on the left is very deep. You can see there's a very thick girdle. Yeah. And most of the weight of that diamond is in the girdle or in that um, compact diameter. Where the shallow one, that one has a larger table. Mm -hmm. So that looks very open. It's kind of a window mm -hmm. and it doesn't sparkle light. This is perfect and the 81, to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And the 81? Martha. The 81 is cut perfectly so the light reflects in and through the diamond and so the light coming back to your eye is what you're looking for. How important is it for the peop for people who are shopping for a diamond to understand, because you have a very deep understanding of these things, how important is it though, the, the education part when you're, you're purchasing a diamond and you're trying to explain that to a customer? It's really important because at the end of the day we want them to be happy with their purchase and when they compare their diamond to someone else's we want them to have the most sparkle. Win Nobody the sparkle either. contest every yeah. time. The sparkle yes. contest. I like mm -hmm. that. When you guys are looking at these, I'm sure that, uh, are there some, um, do you end up buying more diamonds or rejecting more? We actually have become very successful because of what we say no to rather than what we say yes to. So we reject a lot of diamonds. We travel uh, maybe six, seven times a year and we look through thousands of diamonds. That's awesome. Every I'm sure trip. you guys talk to each other, like, come and look at this one. Yeah, That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's kind of a cool job, I think, too. Thank you both so much for educating us yeah. about Great. diamonds, because it's a big purchase, and I love the, the, your, your attitude about it, that you want people to be happy, because it's a big purchase, and when they're sitting next to their friends at a party or they're out, you want their diamond to sparkle the most, which is fantastic. At Kessler's, you can find a location close to you by going to Kessler'sDiamonds.com. Great to see both of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank much. you.